Now you all know the incredible lighting results that we can get by using the light cone and gradient lighting makes those difficult to photograph glossy and highly reflective subjects really easy because we can get this beautiful lighting, we can create gloss black stripes, we can create highlights, gradients, everything that we need. But we get lots of questions about the sizes of the light cone and which one might be best for you. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly the dimensions of the light cone and we're going to talk about which light cone is best suited to each scenario. Now, my favourite light cone is the large. The reason for that is that overall, I would say it's the most versatile. We can photograph, of course, the biggest possible items that we can fit into a light cone in this one because it has the largest diameter. What is the diameter of this one? Well, if we place it on the ruler there, that's it on the edge here. And we can see this is coming in at 20 inches diameter or 51 centimeters diameter across here. So that's our diameter there. And if we look at the height of the light cone and we go from the ground to here, the highest point is 42 centimeters or just under 16 and a half inches high. Now, why is this one my favorite? Well, to be honest, as I said, you can accommodate larger, medium or small items in this one. Of course, in the smaller size ones, you're not gonna be able to fit as big an item. The difficulty, of course, is the shooting distance. So if you're shooting down into your light cone at an object inside with a higher light cone, you're further away from the subject. So for very small items like small rings or small jewelry or that sort of stuff, on occasion, depending on the lens you're using, you may be better suited with the medium, but I'm gonna to come to that in a second. What I found after using the light cone now uh, is that even with the taller, higher, large light cone size, you can actually still get away photographing quite small objects, especially if you're using a macro lens. For example, I've done jewelry shoots using a 100 millimeter macro lens on a 35 millimeter camera. And the fact that you can put that macro lens down and partially into the light cone helps dramatically get you close enough to the subject. So in terms of which light cone is best is largely dependent on which camera and lens you're using. So for example, a macro lens that focuses at you know, 30, 40 centimeters from its subject but still magnifies it uh, plenty will give you perfectly usable results with the large light cone. In other scenarios though, with a different camera or a different format, you might find that the height doesn't allow you to get close enough. And that's where the medium light cone can come in useful. And if we look at the medium light cone, if I place it on the scale here, there's the edge, and we can see we're coming in at 34 centimeters diameter, just around about 13 and a half inches across the base here. And the shooting height, or the external height of the light cone, you can see is coming in at 28 centimeters or 11 inches. So if you're using a different format camera or a different lens and you have to consider with your lenses, you know, how close can they focus? What focal length are you using? What magnification are you gonna get? Um, and that's all covered in, a, in another video that we've got um, as well. Um, but then you may find the medium, the best scenario if you need to get closer. And then we also have the iPhone light cone. And as it describes, it's specifically for smaller smartphone cameras. You're not gonna get a 35 millimeter camera lens into that hole. Uh, it is designed for small format cameras, such as smartphones uh, with a smaller lens, which you can then pop in there. But what are the sizes for this? Well, the diameter on this one, interestingly, is a slightly different cone uh, uh, angle and this one is coming in at 14 and a half inches or just under 37 centimeters. Height wise, it's coming in about the same height as the other cone. If we put it in here, it's coming in at 26 centimeters or 10 and a half inches in its size. 
So if you're using only a smartphone, then of course, this is your preferred option, smaller opening there, um, easier to control. Um, and then if you're using larger products or shooting larger products or medium sized products or even small products, then this is the best all rounder especially if you're using a good macro lens because a good macro lens can fit inside there and still photograph very small objects at a distance. So if I could only choose one light cone, I would choose the large, it's the most versatile for me. If you know your camera format is different or you don't have a good macro lens, you're not able to get in um, a magnifier as much, then the medium would potentially be your best choice, but obviously you've got a smaller diameter here. Um, but of course, the other option is the value pack and that is the kit of three so as well as the individual light cones there is a bundle deal with three light cones together which uh, offers you better value compared to buying them individually we have another video which shows some examples of the size of the objects that you can sort of photograph under the light cone gives some examples of different lenses and focal lengths as well so if you want to have a look at that video you can check that out too thanks for watching